Let's hustle on over in here and get to today's lesson, boys and girls. All right. Caps. It gets the blood going really fast, doesn't it? All right. Today's lesson. Video number nine on puppet valves. And creating the valve seat angles in the cylinder head. So how does one go about doing that? Well, on number eight, if memory serves, I asked you guys out there to go to Google, do a search for uh, grinding or cutting valve, seat, valve seats, and then hit images, and then some pictures of hardware should pop up. So if you hadn't done that, well, you'll have to get along with my whiteboard representations or do it later. Either way, this is just a quickie overview of how it's done. So if this is the angle we desire down here on this stone or this blade, then it mounts on a spindle that's mounted in the valve guide. Remember, we must have an A plus valve guide. And on the spindle, carrier moves down, holds the cutter or grinder stone down, and whew, turn it around, around, and you cut a new angle. Now, the old school way of doing it, uh, for many, many decades, uh, stone grinding. Stone grinding is still around with us today because it gives superb results. It has the most flexibility because in the kit you have a dresser, a diamond tip dresser that allows you to cut whatever angle you want on the stone and you have, when you freshen up the stones because they do wear away. And uh, it gives you great flexibility, gives you the ability by selecting the stone materials if you have a setup equipment from a name brand like Sue or Quick Cut or something like that, then you have a selection of stones that can cut all the way up to stellite material. That's cobalt infused steels. And man, those things are hard. They're harder than a mother in law's heart. Oh, I'm telling you, there's no mercy they're so bloody hard. Try to cut them with a blade. <laughs> Unless you have some super blades, you're not going anywhere. So, Stones are the most flexible, will handle any material with proper selection. The downside is money. They I set up cost quite a bit. And um, it's slow. It's very slow because you have to change stones, especially if you're doing a three angle or four angle or a five angle valve job. You gotta have five different stones and you have to put them one at a time, put them on there, zip, 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 do them like that. Okay, so it takes time, slow, but excellent. New school way of doing it, they have the low cost uh, Walmart price point way, which is uh, your cutter head will have blades, uh, usually tungsten carbide edged, and they are fixed blades, and they're made into this holder, and there's any number of them, at least three usually, up to five, six blades, and it mounts on its own little holder, fits on its own little spindle, and you generally turn them by hand. And if you can keep the pressure even and not rock it to where you create a tilted disc or an oval by being stronger on the right side than the left, you can get a decent job. You can get a decent job. Uh, downside on these is while they start off very inexpensive, as soon as one of those blades goes dull, gets chipped, whatever, uh, throw the whole thing away and buy another one. Just that simple. All right. Now the way that professionals do it today, especially if you're building very high-end race engines for Indianapolis, NASCAR, Pro Stock, Drag Strip, is you will use uh, something like a company like called Quickway is one example. They make these uh, very stiff, strong uh, blade holder heads and the blades are replaceable. And the advantage of that is the blade gets dull, take it out, put another one in. Duh, keep going. All right. Also, you have the ability not just to cut a single angle, but multi-angle all in one pass. Whoa, that's right. You can get cutters that have uh, the 60, the 45, the 30, the 15 already made into the cutting edge. Put them on there, go roundy, roundy, done. And if you've got a V8 with four valves, that's 32 valves in all, you'll be doing You'd be done with all 32 by the time you get two done over here with the stones. If everything is set up properly to really move along with it. Now, two to four. Yeah. Okay, but whatever method is used, guess what? All roads 
lead to lapping. So now I've discussed the uh, cutting the seat. Now we're going to talk about lapping the interface between the valve and the valve seat and how and the equipment used to do that. And my uh, crew, uh, I think it's myself, is going to uh, readjust the camera angle right now. So if you will bear with me, take a little break. Uh, think of what your favorite disco song while I reset the camera.